Save the earth. Mm, okay, sorry. The paper goes into the paper bin. And the plastic goes into the plastic bin. The compost goes in the compost bin. Good job, Ellie. Huh? So hot! What? Hmm? What happened, Uncle Zach? Uh, it's so hot outside, but it's so cold in here. Yeah, 65 degrees. I like to be cold under my blankets. <laughs> That's not good. 65? Let's try 75. Uh-oh. Do not set the temperature so low. Oh, okay. If you're too hot, consider using a hand fan. And then you can wash it. Yeah. By doing this, 
You don't have to waste a lot of single-use plastic. Oh, thanks, Jenny. No problem. Bye. Bye. Oh, I'm feeling dizzy. I'm back. Ooh, ooh. Because everyone's not being wasteful anymore. Don't be wasteful. Save the environment. Turn the soil, guys. Wow! Ooh. 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 Awesome. Look at this. Wow! Can I see another experiment, Uncle, with different colors? Huh? One more time, please. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, so cool. So fun. Huh? More toys! Huh? No more! Then no more experiments! Sorry! Oh. Ah. Scientist Amy! Scientist Amy! Hi! How can I help? Can you do the tornado experiment? Yeah, they're so cool! A tornado experiment? Hmm. <laughs> ah. Hmm? ah! I got it! Ah! Finished! All done! Tornado machine. Yeah. So cool. But Auntie, can you make a tornado with bottles? Huh? Uh, sorry. I don't know how. Uncle Mike did it. We really want to know how. Hmm. <laughs> Let's learn how to do it together. Okay, Auntie. Aha! I got it. And remember, always do science experiments with parental supervision. We need two bottles, one is half full of water, and then a connector. Whoa. First, flip it upside down, shake it around. Voila, look at that. Wow. Auntie, Auntie, can I try it? Sure. How does it work, Ganty? Why does it have a tornado in the water? Just like a tornado, the water moves in a circular motion. This is called the centripetal force. It's then pulled down, creating a vortex, and then we see a tornado. Whoa, I learned a lot today. How are we going to make a colorful tornado? Only adults can do this part, but we use lamp oil. Hmm, interesting. We use a funnel. Now we pour the oil into the bottle. Now we're ready. and we add it to the Coke bottle. You Ooh. ready? One, two, three. Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! One more, one more! You got it! One, two, three. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. How does it work, Uncle? That's my question for you all. If you can answer it, then you'll get this collection of books. Whoa. No books for you, then. Uh, I know! The process! Nucleation! All the carbon dioxide in the soda squeeze into the liquid and looking for a way out. Whoa! Good job, Lyndon. You're a real scientist. Here's your prize. Thank you! These are my favorite books! Another interesting experiment is adding salt to a can of soda. Salt also causes nucleation. 
it will cause the carbon dioxide in the soda to form into bubbles, which then explode and shoot up into the sky. Wow, that's really interesting, Uncle. Yeah! Time for another experiment, and all we need is an egg and some water. How do we make the egg float? If you answer correctly, you'll get the science kit. Cool. I give up. Me too. I don't know. Sorry, I guess no one gets the prize. Ah, we could ask scientist Amy for help. How can I help? How do we make an egg float in water? Uh oh. Don't worry, I'm gonna find the answer. She will got it. She will got it. You got it, Auntie? No, sorry. We can find the answer together. Good idea. really cool, Ellie, but we need to find a way to float the egg. Okay, Auntie. <laughs> ah, I got it! How, Wendy? We need to add salt to the water. All right, let's give this a try. All right, it's all mixed up. Huh? It still didn't float, Wendy. You have to let it dissolve and add more. Let's see if this works. Smooth it in there. And now? It's floating! It's hard to see, but it's right over here. Maybe if we add more salt, it'll float completely. Add some more salt in there. All right, and now for the egg. Cool. Look at that, it's floating! Good job, Wendy! Amazing! We solved the problem. Let's take it Uncle Jason. Ta-da! Whoa, amazing! You made the egg float! Mm-hmm. But if you want the prize, you have to explain to me why the egg floats when you add salt to water. Uh-oh. Oh, I know. Adding salt to the water increases the density. That's also why ice floats. When enough salt is added to the water, the salt water solution's density becomes higher than the eggs. So it floats. Good job. You deserve this prize. Yay! Wow! Mm, I don't like light. Huh? It's so dark! Let's go to another room! <laughs> yeah. At least it's bright in here! Yeah, let's read! <laughs> it's bright again? Huh? It's getting dark again! Let's go, Jenny! Aunt Amy! Aunt Amy! Huh? The lights keep going out! Really? But it's still bright in here! Not for long. See, Auntie? It's getting dark again. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> huh? Now we have light again. How, Auntie? With this light I have right here. And that light. Huh? The light works without connecting to electricity? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> the light works with solar energy. Some light goes through the solar panel right here. So you see, the light bulb doesn't need electricity. Hmm. That's not interesting. Whoa, that's so interesting. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> My magic doesn't work with solar energy? Hmm. I'll be right back. Do you know where solar energy comes from? In the sun. Correct! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> solar energy? The sun? I got this. Huh? Where are we? We are in the land of wind power. What? Where is this place? Oh, the giant turbine. Wow. What, what are they for, for Auntie? The wind helps the turbines spin around and generate energy. Wow. But I still don't understand clearly. That's OK. Let's go back and I'll explain to you. Huh? Why is it red again? Because the wind collected energy, which lights up these bulbs. Here's another one. Whoa. More light? <laughs> what is this, Auntie? This is a model of a wind turbine, like we went to before. Awesome. How does it work? As the wind spins the turbine, it generates electricity. If you look over here, you see the light. Whoa. Wow, that's amazing. It's not that amazing. Ooh, so cool. Huh? Ah. Magic doesn't work with wind energy? <clears throat> Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. 
As it moves, it generates energy, which is electricity. Wow, now I understand. <laughs> There's no point in understanding that. Huh? The lights went out again, Auntie. Yeah. <laughs> now I can go to sleep. <laughs> hmm. Ah. Okay, let's go outside and go camping. There's lights there. Ta-da! Welcome to the best campsite. Whoa. Huh? Where did the light come from, Auntie? These are solar lights too. I'll charge my solar light. Wow. The power of the sun will go into the panel. And it will generate electricity to light up the bulb. Awesome. Solar energy is amazing. Wow, Auntie, this is really cool. The solar lights even work when the sun isn't here because they generate over time. Wow. Huh? It's even bright here, in the backyard, where it's supposed to be dark. Solar energy is so cool. These energies provide no gas emission, and it reduces most types of air pollution. Wow! Wow, solar and wind energy is so interesting. Auntie, can we have some s'mores now? Sure. I want some s'mores too. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Can I join you? Camping is fun, and I want some s'mores. Uh, yeah, sure. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle little star. <laughs> how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Bye.